We're Dennis and Liz. If you're new here, we've been traveling full-time in an RV since 2017. In 2019, we decided to downsize buying and renovating a Class C RV. Our new home on wheels. Is that water damage? And this year, we hit the road on a brand new journey, RVing Mexico. We're driving in Mexico! Over the past few months, we've covered some major ground, RVing, seeing, and eating incredible things throughout Mexico. That was until the coronavirus took hold of the world. I think headed to somewhere that doesn't have any confirmed cases as of yet, probably the best case scenario, in my opinion. Our plans abruptly changed, and we made the tough decision based on where we were at to self-isolate on the southwestern coast of Mexico rather than returning home to the United States. Today, we're gonna show you what it's like to be self-quarantined here in Mexico. Just another day in the life. Normally, I wake up first, I climb over Dennis, and I kind of have a little bit of time to myself before he wakes up. Good morning. We don't want to put coffee in our stomachs first thing in the morning, that be what our body wakes up to. Instead, we choose to have a full 16 ounce glass of water with either lime, which is abundant here in Mexico, or lemon back in the United States. Think about it, you've been sleeping for probably at least eight hours, if not longer, and you haven't had anything to drink in that entire time. So your body is actually in the very dehydrated state whenever you first wake up in the morning. So it's good to put water in it immediately. Come around, you can dip up. Coffee time? No coffee. probably wondering why we're using a French press and a kettle to make coffee when we have this nice Nespresso machine back here. Well, a few things happened to us while we were in Mexico. Uh, the first thing that happened is we bought side of the road coffee beans and the side of the road coffee beans had a tiny little coffee bean sized rock inside of them that very quickly demolished our coffee grinder. Now we can find pre-ground coffee at stores, but even though it's all espresso ground, it says on the bag, it's all different coarse grinds. Most of it is ground so finely that whenever I pack it into the little bullet that we use to refill and brew the coffee in an espresso machine, it just clogs and we can't brew coffee in the espresso machine. When we can easily Amazon again, we will uh, have a, a coffee grinder again. I just want you guys to know that for us to vlog inside of the RV, we have to have the AC off. So 
it's very uncomfortable in here and I really hope you appreciate this day in the life video. Breakfast looks different for us pretty much every day. We try and change things up. We do definitely have a heavy rotation of breakfast items, which could include smoothies, a sauteed cabbage, fried egg. Sometimes we'll do breakfast tacos. Today, it was a delicious egg sandwich from Dennis's homemade sourdough bread, which he did an excellent job cooking. I don't like doing complicated dishes. Like this stuff is super easy. You throw it all in one pan and it takes like three minutes and you're good to go. We've been in self-isolation now for 72 days. 72 days, that's a long time. We got here on March 20th of 2020, and when we first arrived, it was pretty much life as normal in Mexico. The beaches were open, we were able to come out on the dock and watch sunsets, relax in a floaty in the ocean, swim or suntan as we pleased. It was wonderful. Then Mexico shut down all of their beaches. So while we used to be able to enjoy this wonderful view from this side of the fence, now we have to watch it from this side of the fence. But look, we realize how amazing this is to be in such an incredible place, self-quarantined, directly on the beach. So we might sound like we're complaining, but we're not. We're, we're very grateful. Fence or no fence, we'll take this any day. Not much has changed in terms of work since the coronavirus outbreak. Being nomadic creators, we have the freedom to create our own schedule. Some days we wake up and we start working immediately and don't end until 8 o'clock at night. Other days we choose not to work at all. But our work pretty much always consists of being on the computer. If you aren't familiar with how we specifically make money and support this lifestyle of full-time travel, we have a video about how we invest in real estate mortgage notes and explain a little bit more about what we actually do. But in the past year, I've also taken a writing job for Million Acres where I get to share my expertise and experience investing in real estate. And of course, we have our vlog here sharing videos and blogs for Eat CRV. So everything we do is on the computer. You'll pretty much find us either working in the hammock, in a chair outside, on the couch, or at the desk. But we're on the computer a lot, like a lot. 
When it comes to groceries on the island, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. There is a fresh produce stand that we can walk to just up the street from where our RV is located, and they have pretty much any type of fresh produce you can think of. So that has been really great to be able to stay stocked and be able to cook healthy, delicious meals. Now the dry goods store, which would be more like a grocery store that you would imagine in the United States, is kind of like a mix between a 7-Eleven and a grocery store. Their selection is pretty minimal and it's not that great. So luckily we ended up stocking up by going to a Walmart and doing a huge self-quarantine haul, prepping for pretty much not being able to go, go to the grocery store again for a month. We have gloves. We have hand sanitizer. We read our own bags that we're gonna wash after. We are done. I'm pretty sure we're ready for Armageddon, but I think this is a very smart move. Milk. Also, I love the bags. Two bags. We play prices right rules when we do this, so you go over, you're out. But I think it's gonna be 4,800 pesos. Uh. Oh, did you say 4,800? Mm. 6,600, I'm gonna say. 6,600. Yeah, here, I'm not gonna, I'm not putting the wine bottle in that. 7,253 pesos. Oh, I said 65. Oh, that was enough. <laughs> That's a lot. Gracias. We ended up getting a ton of food and alcohol, and we're so glad because two days after we took our hour-long trip to Walmart, they ended up shutting down alcohol sales. So we've been rationing not only the dry goods that we have, but the alcohol. We're no longer enjoying a cocktail whenever we please or a glass of wine. We're pretty much reserving that for weekends only. Hopefully alcohol sales will be reopened by the time this video airs, but if not, we will probably be down to our last bottle of wine and, and liquor. Grave times. Grave times. Now let's talk laundry. Getting laundry done is as easy as calling someone who owns a lavenderia in town. We call them up, they drive to our RV camping spot, pick up our dirty clothes, use our soap that we give them, and it comes back to us within 24 to 48 hours, completely clean and folded, ready for use. All costing about 12 to 15 US dollars, depending on how much clothes we have to wash at the time. Is that better? What do you think, Liz? Big no. Big no. That's better. While the rhythm of our work life hasn't really changed all that much since we've been in self-quarantine, staying in one spot for the last 72 days has given us time to reflect on ourselves as individuals revive some healthy habits and push ourselves to try some new things that we wouldn't have otherwise made time for while we were moving. Liz has been doing yoga for strength and journaling while I've started a Muay Thai training program and learning how to make sourdough bread. Even though I said we spend 80% of our days in front of a computer, it's not always like that. We try not to work seven days a week and at least carve out two days at minimum to just kind of rest, relax, and do whatever we want. Some days I lay out and work on my tan. Other days we'll have pina coladas out by the beach. Well, out by the fence. Out by the fence. <laughs> Sometimes we'll play games. We've had fires with the new state. 
uh, movie nights or just relaxing and doing Netflix and chill. It really doesn't look that different probably than a self-quarantine day wherever you may be, but we're just in a really unique location and we have our home with us no matter where we are. Dinner is always a fun time in the RV. I love cooking, and being in self-quarantine has promoted more home meals. Uh, in Mexico, since food is so cheap, we've kind of been eating out a lot. So since restaurants are shut down, this has been a really good time to get back to cooking great meals. So tonight's meal is Baja fish tacos. So we made a beer batter, and we're frying some freshly local caught fish that we bought here on the island, and we have freshly made tortillas from the island. And we're tossing it all together to make some really tasty tacos. Fire. Fire. Our RV thinks we're on fire. We're not, clearly. It's not true. Fake news, guys. We're done with the beer, you can have the leftovers. Gracias. It's kind of crazy. Since I haven't been drinking beer on the daily, I've kind of lost the flavor for it. You know, like I don't enjoy it as much as I did before, if that makes any sense. Let's see if that helped out. Now that I'm pretty much done with it. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm back on beer again. A little bit of lime, now it's on time. Those taco stands come in clutch. Who got those for us? Are they a, a Christmas gift? Mm-hmm. Drink a comfort. Yeah! So good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Normally, we have dinner on the couch. And they are really good. They're so good. <laughs> and we watch TV. This is like our time to have chill, relax. We typically eat late anyways, so it's kind of the perfect setup. We have dinner, watch TV, and then we finish any dishes that are left over and hit the hay. Now, we are tight on data, and since there's no Wi-Fi at this RV park, we do buy a two-hour Telcel packet in order to watch TV, which has been really nice to, like, limit our Netflix and chill time so that we're not just, like, totally binging all the shows. Right. Now, once the packet runs out, call it a night. So we're going to finish these tacos, we're going to watch some TV. I'm going to turn the AC back on. Yeah, it's slow, but we still like it. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot. Should have smashed that olive queen, not uh, olive. Should have smashed that avocado queen. Who's the chef? Who's the sous chef? Well, the sous chef usually does the prep work for the enchiladas, and the chef did not let the sous chef do that today. So, 